got Marjan Bocamp here. Just finished the game with the Hawks. Welcome to the NBA. Have you had a welcome to the NBA moment? What's it uh, been for you? Yeah, I, I had one. I don't think it was a bad one, but like no, it's last a good game, one. you know, I got my first start as a rookie. Okay. Like, so that was my welcome to the NBA. Really. And it kind of yeah. it, it hit you. It hit you then. Yeah, it hit me like yeah. dang. I'm starting my first game, and it was everything I dreamed of. You know, it was a blessing. Now, your transition has been different, man. Coming from 509, not a lot of people come out of that talent. Yeah. There's a lot of talent in the Northwest. No, for sure. So you was transferring, commuting back and forth to, yeah. to Nathan Hale, mm -hmm. to, to Randy. We talk about that to commitment it took. Yeah, uh, yeah, my eighth grade year after going into high school, I moved to Seattle from Yakima, and uh, I went to Nathan Hale, played with Michael Porter Jr., uh, his brother, and P.J. Fuller, and I played for Brandon Roy, and that was probably one of the best – Teams in Seattle, ever. Uh -huh, right? Like, yeah, I feel yeah. like, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we won the national championship that year, oh, yeah. cha uh, state championship, and man, uh, I learned a lot from those guys. You know, uh, just being around that type of talent, I never right. seen that in my life. Right? You know? okay, okay. Coming from Yakima, you know, right? I never exactly. Seen, exactly. I never exactly. seen them like Michael Porter. And, uh, yeah, the next year I went to Garfield uh, with Brandon Roy when he transferred to uh, Garfield to start coaching, and right. I, I went with him because he brought me to Seattle. So, sure. uh, yeah, man. I, we won a championship that year also, and I had a bigger role in that team, and man, that was, that was a blessing too. And, uh, the next year, I moved to uh, Rainier Beach. Yeah. Coach Michael Day, I had, that's my breakout year. Yeah, yeah. And I, I won a uh, Metro MVP that year. Okay. That was, that okay. was an amazing year. That was killer. Yeah. That was killer. I played with Jamon Kemp, Sean Kemp's son, and uh, the next year, I went to prep school in Arizona. Okay. And that's when I like really like, Mm -hmm. That's when you blew up there. Yeah, yeah. That's when that's when you felt it hit you when when you went to Arizona. Yeah, yeah for sure. What was the what was the transition from Washington to Arizona? Uh, transition was just like I'm on prep school playing against Jalen Green every once in a while and uh, playing against top talent. Really. Even even better talent. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So uh, okay. I felt like I didn't have nothing to prove in Seattle for more. In okay. So, okay. Yeah, so now you're on a, now you're on a team with Giannis. Yeah. Like, Talk about what this guy who, who's already been at a pinnacle, what he brings to your game that, that you can see that you pick up just from observing. Uh, yeah, I, I observe a lot every day. You know uh, how he approaches the game, uh -huh. how how focused he, he is, and uh, man, uh, I never seen a player like him either. You know, like, just to see that up close. Like, okay. Man, uh, how he came in the league, like he came in like me, a little skinnier. Right, right. And how he how he looks now, like that's. You know, that's so you kind of you follow that blueprint, or are you yeah, working on yeah. towards that blueprint? I'm now? Towards that blueprint, you know, just getting you know, get in the weight room, trying to eat more, and yeah, like uh, I'm just learning a lot. So I'm learning so much every day. Like, uh, man, it's, it's a blessing to be on this team full of vets, you know. Lastly, um, let you go on this one. What would be your message to other kids mm -hmm. in the 206 or in the 509 mm -hmm. or in the in the area mm -hmm. in the Northwest? Yeah. You know, there's a, there's a hot bed of talent out there. All right. Talk about. What's your message to those other kids trying to kind of fill in your shoes? Yeah, man, just chase your dreams and uh, never give up and keep trusting God, putting the work. And, man, uh, the sky's the limit for real. Like, even when times get hard, just keep going. It ain't going to last forever. Okay, that's true. That's real deal. I appreciate it.